right, we're back at the same dog all day ago. Okay. Uh, what we're doing now is in the first few videos we posted, we come over here, we got our uh, box material, which in this case we're using radiata pine. Um, it's got a nice finished side. It's pretty good on both sides. What's not, you know, a little bit of bondo and sanding. You're never going to see it. It's not a stain. It's just a paint. And uh, so we got everything cut down. We have our tops and bottoms for all our boxes, all the cabinets in the closet. There's going to be four cabinets that are identical, and they're basically nothing but movable shelf boxes with uh, rabbited backs. It's going to be half inch hardwood and they're going to be movable shelves. And the tops and bottoms are going to be biscuited. Everything's biscuited in. There's very few nails in anything we do here at Grace Complete. We don't, you know, we try to keep it nice and tight and people like that. Customers like that. All right, so what I've already got on this time here is you get your sides, if you lay them out, you get your height, and you figure out where you want your shelves at. In this case, I went 12 inches apart on each shelf and drilled up to the 12 with my Craig jig. And you have it offset. Like this side is be the face side. So I'm gonna have the offset closer to the front. And since the back side is rabbit, I reset the jig. All you gotta do is unsnap it, pull it over here, put it here, snap it back, and you can put it down and it'll offset instead of putting your pins at the very back of the cabinet. If you want to get them dead exact, which it wasn't this big a deal here, you can rip you up a shim of what the recess difference is. So if this is over 3 8 you just rip you up a shim at 3 8 slide it in here, slide your jig up to it, and then your holes will line up just like they're over there. But this, the customer wasn't that worried about it. He's, it's just a flip house. He's just trying to pretty his clothes up. Okay. So that's what we're fixing to do. And I've already got my layouts done on my first two. So I'll usually keep them at the bottom so I have something constant to work off of. So here we're going to go. I'm going to start laying this thing out. And this is the last one I just did. That's the match to this one. I try to lay them out in pairs. Always mirror images. Keep your rabbits flipped, you know, together so they're reversed. So when you put them together, everything fits correctly. And one side's not outside, and one side's not, everything's not bad. You know, your tops and bottoms get flipped. Very important thing. Okay. So what we're going to do is lay them out. The bottom, I got my bottom coming in at three inches. And then my next layout, where my pins will start, that should be at nine. About 21. 33. 45. Seven, six, nine. We'll jump back over here. We're already at the top. We'll start and work down. Sixty-nine, fifty-seven, forty-five, seventy-three, twenty-one. Nine and three. Nine. And three. So the first thing I like to do is go ahead and get my biscuits out of the way. I'll get my panel here. I already got my marks here. I just got a, these are the cutoffs actually from these when I got my heights on the cabinets. So this, I usually just use this as a guide. So you got a nice three quarter nominal side to put your biscuit up in. And so I just line it up my marks. And then using the Craig quick clamps, I'm going to hide it down. Pull it out a little bit. There we go. Everything's good here. The biscuit has already been set. This is 11 16 plywood, so I went with a 3 8 just a half 11 16 which is 3 8 and we're using number 20 biscuits. You've got three sizes, 20s, 10s, and zeros. 
I like to use the 20s on the three quarters. It's got more depth. It holds real tight. Uh, I'll follow this up. If I had it down, this would be doing like biscuits on the ends and such. So you just plunge in, and what it does is cut your groove on the key. So, so on this, this is going to plunge in flat. I'll flatten this out. It's already been set to the depth. And I'm going to come here to the inside of my rabbit on the back because my inside petitions that hold this box, all the box bottoms and tops, they are not to the back because obviously the, the back panel is here. So we're going to biscuit from here to here. All you do is set up your biscuit. You don't need no marks. Set up your biscuit with this side here. It's flush with the inside of your rabbit. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and plunge it out. Get over here. And that's what it looks like. And so what happened is your biscuits. We oh, got a few over here. Number 20. Dust it in these grooves like so. And they'll receive your top and bottoms. And we'll clamp them. And they'll be glued and clamped. And they'll set. And when they get dry, mm -hmm. we'll move on. Here goes the other. goes the biscuits in there what happens when the glue hits these biscuits they swell so when you all put this thing together you, you know you use a biscuit to put your biscuits in don't you don't need really a lot of glue because there's a lot of cleanup and those edges are really hard to get clean they're they're really not easy to get clean so you know just be careful and when the glue is wet then clean it make sure it's clean it before it dries when the glue swells these things up once they hit them they swell up and they don't come out easy all right so we're going to use our Craig shell pin jig. Set it back to the narrow width because we're on the face side of the cabinet. And now you can see I got my marks all the way up. And I'll just set the bottom of my jig, top or bottom, the jigs are reversible by Craig. This side is the same as this side. So you really can't mess up unless you just are not paying really close attention. So always write your measurements down. So you'd know what you did last and you you'd get your true motors. Drill it out. And the, the Craig jigs, they, they come with a, a pin. It, what it does, it locks the jig in place. It fits in the three millimeter holes and it locks the jig in place. Okay? And we're just drilling on out. out you got six perfect holes so what I did is 12 inch centers so now these shells are movable I got about the same from here to here in the bottom so we can have up to a little narrow shelf or we can go all the way you know to a foot and a half so it's a good thing these are really easy to use and they're not that expensive and if you do a lot of on-site work like we do, you know, it's very painful to have. Very good for it. I'm going to go ahead and skip to doing the biscuits on the top of these because they are different from the bottom, just on this particular bill. Notice these are up. These are up from the floor, so I have a three-inch piece of toe plate running across the bottom of this. So it'll look about finished about three inches off the floor. So the tops in this application, the top of the box needs to be flush. So what we do when I showed you the, 
But the wall biscuit a while ago was down at a nine. And this adjusts to a lot of different angles per your application, whatever you might need. And you just set it up. You can use a block in the back if you need. We just, I just kind of eyeball it and make sure it's square. And keep your sides flush. Pin it. Again, size flush, that's very important. These panels will not fit if you do not do this. And so, that, with all my holes in here, is how this is made. So, when I put these boxes together, I go to clamp them. We'll do another session of this, and we'll see where this closet is going. Thank you.